Hello and welcome everyone. I managed to restore full mobility to my model. Ash. But now I'm not rooted in place and whatnot. I don't know what I did. I'm wondering if it was just an issue with VTube Studio opening up incorrectly. But uh, all I had to do was like reopen the model and it worked fine. So yeah. That's about it. Anyway, when last we left off in Minecraft, I had said that I would search around for things that we could find. And I searched around for hours. Didn't really find Jack. I found a couple of interesting places, but only one cleric and then nothing else, really. Um, so I'll kind of show you where I searched, and we'll uh, take a look at that. Let's hop over to Minecraft. Already got the game up here. But I have placed down a couple of waypoints into places where uh, I've been at. I was able to steal some from villages and use them for my own amusement. All right. So we should be back at home, yes. yes. So it's day. As you can see, I have more golden carrots and pies and all that. We open up the map and let it load. See here. We zoom way out. I didn't really mark anything else. I still have these here. And actually, I can delete this one because I deleted the uh, waypoint for it. So I went to the east, as you can see. Explored all of this. And in it, I found another maze, which is worthless. I found these two cool mountainous areas. And as you can see, I... Uh, I built from one mountaintop to the other mountaintop because I didn't want to jump down and walk and then move around all there. Although arguably it probably would have taken the same amount of time to do so. But uh, anyway, I thought this area was really cool. Like the peaks of the mountains are just exquisite. Like it looks absolutely amazing. Um, if we would have found this area first before we found this like shipwreck like mountain over here, I would have definitely built my home in this area to have it like a nice valley surrounded by mountains that was really cool um but yeah as you can see there's like nothing else here nothing at all like i think um where was the cleric thing at was it back here yeah it's right here so this is the cleric thing we're going to look at today to cure the cleric cleric z anyway and uh, I found that pretty quick, actually. And then I found nothing else. This is a horse stable. That's all it is next to the village. This is a villager, uh, pillager camp, I mean. Nothing there of interest, just some pillagers. Uh, everything else is just... Hey, uh, Wanakin, thanks for the prime. How are you doing? Yeah, so let's see. Uh, we have, you know, more mesa biome down here. Uh, down in the freaking jungle we had one jungle temple we had two jungle temples and we had another portal down here that i investigated and this was a huge jungle by the way i had to like go around so much of the jungle to like explore stuff it was just a huge drag also another horse stable there and another horse stable here another village there you know more portal frames everywhere not really anything that you know had much of value. I, I did not find any more of the uh, biomes, or not the biomes, the uh, dungeons now loading structures. So I couldn't really do much else. Also, this here is like a uh, pillager, like house or something. It was weird. There was a pillager inside of it. More beehives. That's all. Really, all I found. I was really hoping to find at least like the Olympus one over here, but no such luck. So I think what we'll do is, first of all, we will check out the cleric, and we'll deal with him. That'll just be easy. We already have our golden apple and our splash potion and all that good stuff. So I didn't really build a cross to it yet, but as you can see, there's the uh, thing. We also, from our previous experience, know that there is a... 
couple spawners on top, so we can take those out, so we're just left with the boss. Let's first of all start clearing everything outside, and we can go inside and kill the boss. Well, not kill the boss this time, we're curing the boss for that achievement. No. Get rid of these. I don't think that they'll be spawning since it's not nighttime, though, so that's great. I almost missed this place, too. Very easy to miss these on the map. All right, so that should be everything that's outside. So now, if we find some stone here. There we go, that should be enough. I'm going to build up here on top. We'll take out that, and there should be another one over here. Go. Now we can just go down. Hey. Take that. Okay, and now we just push him with that. And this should cure him, right? Right? It's gonna, you're going to cure yourself, right? And it'll just take like a minute 30 to finish curing, so let's just head back up here real quick. I guess we can go just outside and look for the, uh, the big window here until he's done. We should get an achievement once he's done. And, uh, yeah, so let me tell you the rest of the game plan for today. So today, I would like to find a deep, dark, uh, ancient city biome. And I kind of looked it up, and it says that it spawns between two mountains sometimes. So we're going to go back to those mountains that I found to the east. And I would like to go underground there, see if we can find an ancient city. Uh, then we can kill the warden, hopefully, possibly. We'll see how that goes. We also need to get more ender pearls in order to get the end portal open. I've already found the end portal and marked it with a waystone so we can get there easily. I just figure it's kind of tedious having to throw the pearls, find the end portal, all that kind of stuff. So I did that off camera. But for the Ender Pearls, I think we will go and get. Uh, we'll go get some gold, go into the Nether, and then we'll see if we can trade with some piglins for Ender Pearls. I think they give Ender Pearls there. That'll probably be our best bet rather than wandering around aimlessly trying to kill Endermen. Don't get me wrong, if we see Endermen, we will kill them. I was waiting for you to uh, turn, mate. Turn back into a villager, dude. Come on. It says it takes around a minute and a half, but god dang, if a minute and a half is not just a long time. I think this has been over a minute and a half, actually, if we're being honest here. Well, anyways, this is my inventory. We got a total amount of dying here. Not that we really need it, but it's just nice to have. We got a full stack of arrows for our infinity bow that doesn't need it. We got our boat and some cobble. Of course, we got the golden carrots for the saturation value of them. And we got the pumpkin pie for the, uh, the food value of them. I really like that you can carry around a bunch of pumpkin pies. But you can only carry around like one cake in a stack. Hilarious. Come on! Turn! Turn, mate. Oh, I guess return. Also, we. Oh, that's where my boat went. I forgot I put my boat in my tool belt. I made a new boat because I was like, where'd my other boat go? But it was in my tool belt all along. Along with my water, my axe, my shovel, and my trident. Lottery. Okay, it's definitely been over like a minute 30. Does it decrease their health? I wonder. Maybe it's because he has 200 health that is taking a while. If I look at him. Nope, his health is still the same. He definitely has the, uh, the proper particles. He's got those red particles on him that would indicate that he is, you know, being cured. You can see him shaking, so also a good sign. 
I guess while we're waiting, we'll just clean up the, uh... house, huh? Why not? Blue all this rub stuff, get rid of this tree. Do something, yeah. I think if I leave and come back, it's just gonna not work. Yeah? Come on, man. I want to see what happens when you finish. I'd like to look at the achievements and stuff, but I'd have to pause the game and that would do nothing. Hey, bud, you want to get cured? There we go. We got the village doctor, which we can and then cure Cleric Z, and then we got we can and cure a villager. So, hey, bud. What do you do? You got a normal loot box. A loot box, huh? Oh, well, well. Why don't I just take this stuff? Let's see what this loot box is. Hey, bud. Can I have a loot box? Thank you. All right. Here's the loot box. I break it right now? Oh. A dungeon map. Potion of swiftness, a couple golden apples. A potion of slowness and weakness called a curing potion. Night eye healing instantly. Interesting. So what is this dungeon map? Huh? Gallery of Illusion. You know, that's that's actually a The Gallery of Illusions actually one of the uh, dungeon now loading things. Also, I found out you could do something with emerald blocks today. Not today, a couple of days ago. But if we have an emerald block, we go near our villager buddy. He should be lured by it. Yeah, so he'll follow me with an emerald block. Sort of. It takes villagers a little while to follow, but they will do it. So, I didn't realize if you had a block of emerald that they would follow you. That would have made, like, moving villagers so much simpler. Come on. Come on. I got a block here for you. You want it? Maybe he was just coming out of habit. I don't know. It looked like they were. But come on. Don't go up there. What are you doing? I need you to stay alive so I can trade you more emeralds, sir. Huh. Sir, go back to the house. No, don't go this way. Huh. No, don't go this way, I said. Don't do it. Got this guy. You fool. You absolute fool. Don't. Stop moving. Hold on. Huh. Let me get my shovel. No. No. You're not allowed. Stop it, sir. I said stop it. Okay. This man. Where'd he go? We went back down. Excellent. Good job. Good job, sir. Okay, let's not get him blown up, shall we? No. No. You're not allowed to go up there. Don't go down either, sir, okay? Just keep you nice and stuck up here. Okay? Why do they keep coming out of here? Oh, freaking creepers, man. Okay, perfect. He went inside. I can just block that up now. Okay. Now I can just go up here. I'm just going to go inside here and make sure it's lit up so that it won't 
you know, do anything. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I got a new plan. First of all, go over there. Grab my waypoint. Move a little closer. And we'll go home, get all of our emeralds. Park anyway. Okay. I'd like to get a couple more of those uh, food chests, because if they all have a map in it, come on, really. If they all have a map, then that could potentially give us a very lovely way to... Well, maybe I should put some torches up here, too. In fact, let's get rid of this nonsense here. There we go. All right, where was the... There it is. Let's go ahead and... Actually, I think I want to put the waypoint up here. Right there. Um, back to Cleric again. Throw away all this trash that I obtained. Okay. Looking at the map, it is definitely way far to the northwest. Way, way, way far to the northwest. We might have a journey on our hands, so we might not actually be able to finish this mod pack quite yet. But that's okay. Go back up here, flip that down, and go back home. Okay. Let's see how many emeralds we have. I don't remember how many add here. Looks like we have barely enough for two of the chests. Ideally, I want more. So I think what we can do let's go take this stone and this rotten flesh. Okay. Let's go to our little village. Ooh, landed right on it. Nice. Go to our trading village. Then I can trade all of the smooth stone and the um, rotten flesh for emeralds. I'm not sure we'll have enough to get a third chest, but we might just make it. Depends. I know I have more stuff over here as well. So, we'll see what happens. See what happens. Dang this narrow gap. Also, there's a waypoint over here that I removed. So, we can use that to get around quickly. I was trying to clean up my waypoints and deleted this one too. And that was a mistake. Let's see now. Alright, so I should be able to just hop off right here. And I'll just take the boat back. The iron golem. Jump over this. Ouch. If I go over here. Get a carrot to get my stuff up. Also, I placed a magna torch here. Don't know if I mentioned that, but so here this is. But of course, I cannot trade with everyone because they're sleeping. So let us first. I'm gonna whip out my axe here. I'm just gonna take all the wood I can get. Logs anyway. I can turn these logs into sticks that I can trade. More here. Perfect. Okay. 
So first of all, let me go in here. I'm gonna borrow this bed, just make it day so they all wake up. Wakey. All right, come over here. Now I can start my trades. Rotten flesh. It's a shame it just takes so much though. Um, let's see, what's next? I can use... Let's make these all sticks for now, huh? Oops, wrong button there. All right, so boop, boop, and boop, and boop, boop, and boop, and boop, boop, and boop. Okay, let's trade some sticks. Not too profitable right yet, but where'd my chest go? There it is. We have a lot more flesh and this stuff here. So, here we go. There's my stone boy. Huh? What? Am I lagging or something? Oh, my inventory's full there. Oh, my inventory's full. Is that why I couldn't trade? Hold on. Yep. Okay, that one's full. Um, I can trade gold and I can... I got I can search, I forgot. Okay. We can at least get three chests now, but can we get a fourth? No. Um, what else should I have in here? Gold and more emeralds. I think I might be able to just barely get a fourth. So. Oh yeah, I think we got a fourth now. Perfect. Okay. I don't think I want to use the gold though. If I were to use the gold, then it would uh. Limit how much we have when we trade with the piglins. You're not guaranteed to get any of the stuff for that. So let's go ahead and put our tools away. This, then activate this bad boy. That's my book village. So we can go back to the cleric, trade with the cleric, get a couple more loot chests, see if we can get anything. And well, keep in mind that we might not actually get the thing we're looking for. We might just end up with a bunch of nonsense. What? Cleric? Did he get outside somehow? Hmm? I hear him. He must have, like, gone to bed and then woke up. Cleric? Is he in the wall? Oh, well, hold on then. I'll just do this. Didn't think that there would be a uh, wall like that there. That's real quick. So he was in this wall, I believe, right? This is probably actually perfect. He's perfectly safe in there. So let's just do this so he doesn't do that again. All right, let's get some chests. Hopefully I can get all of them. Perfect, okay. Um. Also, why don't we get some more god apples? Okay, perfect. Now then, let's open all of these lovely chests. Put those away. Oh no, that, oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Oh no, it gave us two, okay. Yep, 
it's seeming to be the same thing. Block and hero of the village. They're all gallery of the illusion. That's not good. Rage potion. Potion of the roofed forest. What's bad omen do? I don't think I want that. That seems sketch. Night vision, instant healing. I think, isn't Bad Omen the thing that spawns a enemy speed, night vision, speed, and strength? Uh, more speed, instant health, instant health. Oh, that's all? Okay, well, let's look at the maps and compare them. Oh my god, they are the same exact one. No. Is it because I opened it in this area and this, it only points you to the closest one? Is that why it is? Let's eat this berry real quick. Hmm. Because I thought, so those pink hearts in the middle there, those need to fill up before I get a new heart. Okay. Fair. We got more speed, more speed. Um, more speed. High vision. Okay. Everything else is that potion that looks sketchy. Alright. Well then, let us... Up here. Okay. So looking at it in terms of this map here, we are very far to the southwest of it, right? So we need to go probably up here at the least. Fortunate. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll take our uh, thing to the east here. And this takes us down to here. Which gives us some good distance uh, eastward. But we're still on the corner of the map, so it's going to be way, way, way further away. Okay. That's unfortunate. Well, let's go ahead and switch those around. And I guess before we search for this map in the Gallery of Illusion, what we'll do is we'll head north to here. Maybe here, actually. And I will see if we can find one of the uh, ancient cities. And then we can kill the warden and get that over with, you know. All right. Luckily, with a swiftness potion, we'll be able to make it a little bit further, hopefully, a little bit quicker. What's the best way to do this here? To the left. Okay, got it. I don't even have to cross the water, just over here. I don't use swimming potions much, so uh, I think it's throwing me off a little bit with my jumps and everything. Unfortunate. Come on, come on. But I don't have a leaping potion. Right now with speed, and I would be able to just like right over. I don't think we have to go through a jungle, right? Yep, we do not have to go through a jungle, so that helps us out a lot. Luckily, once we get to this point, it's mostly a straight shot. We don't have many hills to climb. In fact, we can probably just stay on this level right here, as long as it doesn't you know, go up or down. And we can pretty much just run. No. Oh! Ow, thank God for the boots that, like, protect you from fall damage. They didn't even seem to take that much damage either. That's nice. That. And here. Oh, is the swiftness potion gone now? Okay. We have another one, but I think it would be wasted if we uh, were to use it now. So let's get out the night vision potion. And we will use that when we actually get into the caves. So from what I've read, uh, between two mountains, if you find these giant holes in the ground and go down them, the ancient cities are usually underneath them, uh, from what I've read. Now, is that always the case? I didn't look too much. 
but we'll see. So this should give us a, a very good indication if we just go down. We'll just go down as far as we can without having to use any uh, mining, because that's going to be tedious. And if we do need to use mining, we'll start using mining. But we'll just kind of go down as far as we can. God for night vision potions, man. There's an Enderman up here. Go ahead and kick his butt to get some Ender Pearls. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Okay. Didn't drop any. That's unfortunate. And you have a looting free sword, man. Come on. Alright, well, we're going down. We need to at least get to the deep dark area. Okay, here we are. Just gotta keep going. The minimap should give us a decent indication of whether or not we're on the right path as well. Oh, there's more diamonds there. Because we should start seeing, like, green... Oh, over there, maybe? Greenish-blue stuff on the map, and I think we are getting that over here. There's a stroke sensor. Up or down? It's up. Okay, so we'll start mining the way up. Hello, Shulk Sensor. Shulk Catalyst. I don't know what that is. Let's mine it. Gaming experience. Actually, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. The uh, book stuff gives you experience if you mine it. I forgot. Can I take these with me? No, darn. Need silk touch for that, I think. Huh? Okay, well, this one seems to be a little nothing here. Um, I wish I could use like a an underground map. Would be nice. I think I saw more over in this direction. Let us actually switch to not mining tunnel. I want a small tunnel. There we go. So if at this elevation I go this way, I think I saw more on the map kind of in this direction. I do see some there. Let's go this. Here's some here. I choose up here. So it's above me right now. What if I just do this? Um, move that away, and I can get the deep slate here. Okay. Above low. We got a little more. Maybe we'll have luck over this way. Looks like there's a lot more over here. This is a cave, god dang. Look at this. It's beautiful. Plenty of shulk sensors here. Doesn't seem I can trigger the warden though. What is this over here? Oh, the shrieker. Isn't this thing supposed to summon the warden? Oh, I think it did. Switch to my uh, golden apples down here. Warden! Oh, Warden! Does he not spawn if it's not in a ancient city? I'm getting the effect for it. God, that's kind of terrifying. Oh. Pretty sure you can penetrate a shield well, so that's a thing, but 500 health, huh? Oh boy, he's a tanky boy. Okay, yep. I don't think I'm prepared to deal with a warden, unfortunately. Um, 
That's whatever. Oop. Also, now I'm all the way down here. And I don't have a very easy way to get back up there. That is unfortunate. Okay, I don't think I'm going to kill the warden. I feel like there's just going to be way too much preparation I'd have to do in order to do it. And I'm not that dedicated to do it. So we're not going to. But this is unfortunate because that is a long ways away. Um, mm, I can't teleport, right? It'll be too easy if I could teleport. Yeah. Okay. So I guess now the question is, do I want to walk 3,000 blocks and then perhaps 3,000 more? Or... I got an idea. What if, instead of doing that, we don't? And... Go home. We'll just go through the nether. First of all, let us drop some stuff off here. Okay, what do we get rid of? Let's get rid of my emeralds here. I don't need those. Take my golden blocks. Uh, I need to make some golden boots so I can actually trade with the piglins without getting my butt kicked. Toss off the gunpowder who needs that. I should have put down the waystone in hindsight before I messed with the weather. Warden, excuse me, but I'm just an idiot. As for the potions I want to take with me, uh, instant health. I don't really ever get a chance to use instant health when I need it. Let's just get rid of those. Night vision potions can go over there. Not even sure what the luck and hero of the village ones do. So I'll just leave those there. Maybe they can increase my chance to like, get looting and stuff. I don't know. Okay. We got some blocks to build with. Got some gold to use. I got this. Um, hold on. It's probably ideal to get obsidian and a flint and steel as well. That way I can just build a new portal when I want to. All right. Go to the nether and accomplish a couple of goals one after the other. So, first and foremost, let's start by getting rid of this creeper. Go. Assholes. Come on. Eight soul sand. Okay. We will just go through the portal. We need to go northwest. I think. God, it isn't the uh, northeast, I mean. The ratio of overworld blocks to. Uh, Nether blocks is something like four to one. So you go four in the nether and or you go one in the overworld and it's four in the nether, right? Maybe it'll make some distance here, I think. Oops. That was dumb. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. We'll start just by going east for a ways. Okay, what? Floor all nether biomes. Oh. I guess. Okay. I don't know which one I found here, but okay. Works for me. Keep going over here. Crouch upon this. Too much lava in the nether, you know? Ow. One thing I don't like about the nether is all the lava. But it's the nether, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, do that. That. Walk across it because it barely hurts me. Ow, jeez. Alright. So I go up this way. I'm gonna go up a couple blocks just so I can upper, I guess. Okay, let's look at the map. Come on, load in. Be here. I need to kind of find like a 
Bastion or something, right? That's where the Piglin boys like to hang out. Maybe I, uh, maybe I go up a ways. I think I go up higher. I'll be definitely further away from lava pools. Oh, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. You guys don't want gold, right? Because you're zomboids, right? Gold? Gold? You want gold? No, just the pick ones. Okay. Wanted to make sure. So, what I can do is just start mining this way. Now it should be high enough that I don't have to worry about the lava underneath. And I can just go this way and chill. Might be a couple of things like this. Very nice biome. I just build across. Here's some like clicking. What the hell is that? Terrifying. Is there a, a hole here? Terrifying. What else is that? Oh my god, are we just gonna like run into a bunch of holes here? I guess that's it, huh? Even though I'm this high, it's, uh... Look, another red scrap. Eat a pie here. Some the black stone. We have a ways to go. Okay. We'll just keep going. Oh boy. Let's take this opportunity to get across this chasm. Uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna build. Oopa. Yo. Hello, piglins. Piglin zombies, I guess. Go over here. Wait, oh, look. We got a little piglin friend. Hey, bud. Want some gold? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Now, I forget if we can trade multiple at once or not. Because you do it one at a time. I don't want crying obsidian, man. Like, if I just drop this whole, like, 17 stack, will we pick it all up at once or do it one at a time? But do you want to get in this hole for me? Okay. You go. It puts the lotion on its skin. Here we go, and the pearls, okay. Just work on them a bit here. We got string, not ideal. Ooh, we got fire resistance potion. That'll come in handy in another. I get rid of this quartz. Gravel, ooh. I think I'll just uh, get that. And... Wait. Can he take blocks of gold? Ooh, nether brick. Don't care. Excuse me. I don't think he's going to give me anything good, but I think I need a couple more uh, ender pearls. I got plenty of uh, the the blaze powder so basically just waiting get some more ender pearls sir come on 
Was that all? So, sir, if I give you a block of uh, gold, will you... Wait, no? Okay, screw you then. That's what I thought. Did you drop something for me down there? From that block of gold, or... You just decide to hold on to it for me, huh? There. I don't see a block of gold down there, so I think you picked it up. Or one more. Another fire resistance potion. This time a splash one, though. Fancy. Mm -hmm. And we got gravel. A book of soul speed. Here. Mm -hmm. A little sand. Don't care. Huh. My right, totem of undying didn't proc against the warden. I guess I don't need this anymore then. Leather. What did you got for me, sir? Anything? No? Hmm. I guess you don't do blocks of gold then, huh? Come on. I wish I had like more piglins here, but uh. Maybe you're the only one, sir. Maybe I don't have a chest. You got any sort of wood? A water bottle. Actually, I think I see the gold bars. No, those are just nuggies. Never mind. Why don't I light that on fire? Then I could have destroyed that stuff. I'll take obsidian. Then I can make a couple of nether portals. Get out of here, you know? Right into the fire with you. Spectral arrows. I don't think that these even work for me. Do they? Oh, they do. Oh, they get consumed, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, you want more gold? Okay. Hold on. Here you go. Oi. Yep. How about a fire charge so I can light some of this stuff up, huh? Thank you. There we go. I can restore everything into the fire. Another one. Iron nuggets, okay. Ooh, I got a couple more uh, under pearls. I'll let him finish this stack. See if I can get anything from him. And I'll free him. He can go about his day. I'm also still not sure how far we have to go. I know we need to move a lot further north. I may have given him too many gold now. I'll wait till I either get another batch of ender pearls or something else that's decent. Any other bricks? Come on, sir. Give me like boots. Like already enchanted full boots. That'd be great. Come on, man. Do you even do that? I forget. I'm just gonna slowly start filling in a fiery hole around you, sir. Let me gravel. 
Watch me accidentally use the scroll wheel and then drop all of my ender pearls into the fire. Arrows. Come on, sir. What are you doing? Ring, huh? Obsidian, okay. Take the obsidian. Nether bricks. Okay, I'm gonna give him like two more tries here. Okay, last try and then you're gonna die, man. Okay. That's about enough of you then. Take my gold back, thank you very much. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put my gold back up there. Oh look, more piglins happened to spawn here. Okay, well, anyway, let us just head further to the north west. And switch out that so I have ah, screw it. Okay. Easy peasy. Mm. Okay. So now I know I have enough ender pearls, which is great. Easily go finish the end portal. Let's do this. It's almost easier to just make your own path pickaxe at this point than it is to build a cross because the pickaxe goes through it like butter. Nice gold pants, man. Okay. Making some nice progress. Ooh, it looks like we have a, a Sebastian or something right here. Hey, y'all. Oink, oink, motherfuckers. Looks like a bastion, but a little bit too high for it, I guess. Whatever, we'll just keep going. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is we overshoot that area. But that'll be fine. As long as we get into an area that is, you know, good enough. I go down here, I can go further east, right? Can I wrap it around more north? I can. Up here for a moment. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I think I'll stay on this level. Just build up a little. Of course, that's what happened to me. Why would I not jump in? You know what? I have a dang fire resistance potion. There. No more fire. I'm gonna miss where I wanted to go. Um, golden apple. Carrot, I mean, whatever. Oh, the saturation will help me heal more, so. Okay. Uh, actually, if I land in the lava, yeah, if I land in the lava, it'll, uh... Oop, missed it. That's whatever. Okay. Oop! Man, fire resistance is just lovely. Can I swim in the lava? No. I can't even see myself in the lava either. 
Well, let's just place a block down here to get out of here. Easy peasy. Okay. Well, we've made it a little bit. I think this is my first portal. I think I want to go a little bit further to the north, at least. Sure, we've came a long way to the uh, east, but we haven't gone too far north yet. I can just go ahead and do that as well. One. Get another carrot. Here you over there, gassed. You're tough shit, are you? Okay. Oh. Ow. Of course, there was just like one pool of lava there. There he is. Okay. So I think... That could have been really bad. Moving on, though. You know what? I think that we have gone as far as we need to go at this point. Okay. Let us switch to our... There. I'm going to change my boat. That. One, two, and three. And then... That needs to go, and that needs to go, and then we can go boop, boop. And then we can change this for that. And boop! Out we go. Let's see how... Yeah, <laughs> let's see how close we get. Oh. Subspace bubble. Use another to travel seven kilometers in the overworld. Oh. Kind of convenient that we spawned like in a like how lucky are we to have spawned here? Also, I think maybe we deleted a chest. Okay, how close are we? We are now too far to the north, but our east looks pretty decent. Okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have enough to go back. We'll go a little bit further south. Actually, I wonder, does the map work in here? Like, if I hold on to this map and walk down with it, that would be too easy if it worked like that, right? Yeah, I don't think it's going to change anything. Okay. Well, that's fine. It'd be cool if it did. I think once we get out of this tunnel that I dug, we'll try doing another portal. Maybe we head to the west a little bit over this way. Let's get into the blue, shall we? Right over here. Yeah, right here seems good. Okay, so let's... Move that one, and this one. Let's put that away, swap it out with this, and that. Boop, boop, one, two, one, two, three, three, and then swap these around so I can do that. I didn't even need to do that. Never mind. That and that, and then that. All right, and then let's see where we get. Come on, orange Jesus. Like, it's not really orange Jesus. Me just being amazing. The portal already started corrupting. Perfect. Okay. How close are we? Now we're just barely too far to the west, huh? Well, you know what? If we're getting that close, we're still a little bit too far to the north then I think we're good. Let's do this. Now, is this ocean above me? Ah ha ha, it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's a matter of obsidian. We need to go south and east. Huh? I figured we would be having an ocean here. Since... 
you know. How it looks on the map. There's only a little bit of a couple of islands there. Wait, if there's only a couple of islands. And is the thing in the water? Hmm. Nether travel really is efficient, ain't it? Our dot is still so small, though. Where are we at, like, on the map? We came up over here before, which is neat. And then we came up here. Nice. A little shipwrecker up here, there. A couple of ancient monuments. I did not realize that the uh, ocean monuments were this, like, common in the ocean. Like, I can see one from there, and then there's one there, too. Insane. How close are we now? Okay, we're good in the north. Uh, we need to go a little bit further uh, um, east. We just gotta go a lot south now, I think. We should be getting there. We'll go, like, a little bit east, so we'll go south, southeast, you know. This doesn't seem like very treasure, right? I mean, it was very treasure to say very treasure map, not dungeon map, right? We should be getting closer and closer. We're almost perfectly to the east now, so if we just adjust our course a little bit, we'll point it a little more south. Should be good. We just gotta hit the right uh, axis here now. Yeah. Let's see, just a lot of ocean, hmm? God, this is so much ocean. All right, slowly but surely, we are making progress. Our dot's getting a little bit bigger. But it's not quite there yet. I guess we'll keep going until we hit this desert beach ahead of us. At least. And who knows? Maybe we'll find other things as we progress southward towards this one. Maybe we'll find like Olympus on this mountain that's to the right or something like that. I don't know. You never know. That'd be convenient. Yeah, these might just be uh, islands, so could just go around. Upside down shipwreck, it looks like. Dang. How are we looking? We basically just need to go south now at this point. There's like no reason to go east or west. Just south. Only south. Unless, of course, we see a cool thing on the map, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta go way, way, way further south. There was not this much land on the map. Gallery of Illusion, though. I wonder what's gonna be inside of it. Assuming that what's on the map is what I think we're actually gonna find is, you know. Ugh, the dot's not even getting any bigger now. <laughs> thought it was getting bigger, but I think I might have just been fooling myself. Hope that's fine. Seaweed. My inventory. Well, we'll get there eventually. I mean, it can only be so far south, right? Because once we were here, it was way further north. So I'm guessing it's going to be around here-ish? Of course, we had to veer a little bit to the uh, east further than necessary because of the land. That's okay. Making our way down. Oh, 
Oh, is that it? Is that the Gallery of Illusion? Although it looks like we're a little bit too far to the north or east, I should say here. Huh? Oh, maybe it is actually. Yeah, we are a little bit further to the. Wait, is the. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe the brown parts on the map are water, not land. But yeah, we're perfectly on top of it now if we just go south. Let me hit this. And right there, yeah, okay. That is it, huh? Well, since it's on the beach, we might as well go around the land because it, it'd be much simpler to go that way. God dang. This is a big one, huh? Look at it. Man. I almost want to live in this. Like, take it over and just live in it now, right? At this point. God dang. It's so big. And that's also what she said. Okay. Anything else cool in like the surrounding area? That'd be really cool if we could knock out like two and one. I don't see anything. Fortunate. Wait, is that a golem graveyard? No, that's just one of the uh, ruined forts that we've seen before. Okay, well, that's all right. Go ahead and just get rid of the map right now. We don't need it. And right before we go in, go ahead and place down our waystone. Nice uh, pumpkin banners, guys. So before we go in, but I don't they're going to let me. What? Ow. What was that? Get out of here. Okay. Uh, we'll just call it Gallery, just so it has a name. All right, Gallery of Illusion. I'm the Mega Mansion. Okay, so now that we have that, um, complete the normal raid that has the green bar. I don't know what that means, but defeat the camp and obtain the ominous horn. I never found any like bosses at the pillager camps though. Okay, so we found the mega mansion. Oh, we had to do the cleric anyway? Oh, no, I, I get it. So getting the cleric gave us the map that leads us to this direction. So the loot chest was just for this. That that's a shame. Anyway, find and stop the mastermind of illagers from raiding the villages. Okay. They uh, forgot to add a couple of steps here, it looks like. There we go, I helped. Okay, so let's move this here and get a rage potion. Actually, you know what? Let's see what this luck potion is. Oh, we got a rage potion. Oh, I should also put on my boots, huh? Ow! Rude. Yeah, get in that little corner where you can't move. That that's great. Okay. Okay. Interesting. You know what? I can just take him out with a bow. Ooh, I'm using the spectral arrow so it adds an outline around him. All these weird. And 
indicators. Okay. Let's see, what do we got here? We got an axe thing. Then up here we have a thing that has a redstone torch and a player head. We got some stone stuff here. Why? It doesn't seem like there's any reason for this to exist right now. I mean, I can, I'm pretty sure I can move them both. I can take this stuff, right? Yeah, so I can take this. Also, I'm just gonna throw this boat away since I already have one here. Um, there's no point in holding it there right now. So it looks like that level's quickly clear. Oh. Thing. Oh, so these armors just come alive. That's cool. You stuck? Huh? Stuck? All right. Eat a bit. Is that a uh, hidden? Like, can I get up there? Do this. Do this. Do that. Is there another way to get up here? I don't think there is. So, take it. Fortress 2 and pumpkin pie. Oh my god, y'all shouldn't have. Thank you. You like a thing back there, but I don't know if that means. Oh, it looks like there's a way to get up there. Never mind. Well, whatever. Fine. Excuse me? We just shot an arrow? Where'd you come from? Maybe from back there, I guess you jumped off. I mean, obviously I could just mine through this, right? But I feel like I shouldn't, you know? Like a shapeless mining, please. Thank you. There we go. Nothing there. Nothing over here. Let me throw this away. Okay, so let's go back down. And what about this other side? What was here? Nothing, I guess. Okay. I thought there were stairs. I, I guess I'm just seeing things. Huh. Okay, well. I, I guess we just take down the fence. Easy. Come from. Nice. Nice. I'm lagging a bit. I guess it's because of all the stuff that's here. Block. Huh? There's nothing through here, though. Nope, nothing. I'm gonna get rid of this and that, that and that. I don't really need the flint and steel right now either. Okay, moving on. Hmm. 
Go ahead and go around the side. Stop it. with my bow here and I can take out this armor, right? Nope. They all just kill each other? Great. Works for me. You want to transform? There you go. Ow. It's slowed. I shoot this. No. That's a shame. Uh, hello there, zomboys. How are you doing? Go on me. I'm just gonna... Apparently not remove that fence. Okay, whatever. I'll... I can still take him out. Actually, I can just swipe him with this. Something just blew up. What was it? Go ahead and just do this to get rid of the fence. TNT there. Hmm. A fire aspect torch? What is that about? Oh, hello there. Is that just so they can light me on fire? Is that what that is about? Kind of rude if so. Oh, hello there. Damn it. Yep, it's just so they can light me on fire. Okay. That's very not right of them. There we go. Okay. What do we have here? Take all this. Take the torches that I don't really use or need anyway. All this stuff, I don't need that. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming that's what I needed to do. Uh, you know, before we go this way any further, I do want to check out... Also, my health's kind of low. Just now realizing that. I want to take a look the other way here. What was back this way? Was there anything? Wait. Is this here? Shield! I knew it was a trap, but I was like, I'm gonna go down them anyway. So all of them are covered with TNT, huh? Am I just like... <laughs> nice. Kinda nice, I guess. Yeah, so all of it is just covered with TNT. There's no way to get across it. Let's shoot this one. Here we go. Fall, fall. Anyway, back up here then. Wait, what? How do we get out of here? Oh, I guess I just go this way. That makes sense. Okay. God, my health is just getting wrecked. I have another right too. This is damn. I think even if I walk on this, wouldn't it fall? Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay, so over here we have a chest, which is a bunch of iron. Okay. We got an iron golem spawn egg, which is cool. Some nuggies, some of those. Okay. Another hidden chest here, too. Emeralds, iron, emeralds. Take the iron. 
Not that I need it, but it's nice to... Oh, a heavy iron chest plate. Ooh. I was going to ignore it, but... Seven armor, huh? Mine's better, actually, so <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay. Also, I'll just go ahead and take all this iron blocks. Thank you. Anything under this? Nope. Just more dark oak stuff there. Okay. That's fine. Well, I got an iron golem I can spawn whenever I feel like it now. If I get anything kind of dicey, I can just spawn one and have it help me out. I'm not liking the uh, lag I'm getting, though. That's kind of sucky. But whatever. Okay. So we fought our way through here. This place got a little destroyed, but that's okay. We destroyed this wall. Get rid of that torch. That's a fire aspect I don't care about. All right. More iron. And we got a couple of... We got an iron axe. I'll take that. Because there was that iron axe that was down below as well. So this might come in handy with something up ahead. got a ravager up there huh don't come near me i said don't come near me man and die there we go got him got a saddle what should i pick up torches yeah hold on to the saddle all right moving up some iron there too, that's cool. Nothing behind me this time. Hmm. Okay. Area behind this, huh? Interesting. I don't see the reason for that. Go ahead and uh, do some lawn mowing, shall we? God dang. Scooter. Okay. Easy. Oh, we got some emeralds we could mine up here. We got some diamond. Ooh, a slime. A little slime. Baby villagers by far the uh, biggest threat here. Oh, that's a slime block, not a slime. We got a zombie villager. That was a cleric, huh? Got some slime blocks here. Okay. I'm gonna pick up the slime walls and the slime. Just to have them. What? Might as well get rid of all of them. That's what we're doing. Anything in the barrel? Anything behind here? Not really. Hey, you. Where'd you come from? Is there a spawner here? Huh? Oh, a hidden chest. A bouncy potion, huh? An efficiency iron pick. Um, blah, blah, blah. Bouncy potion, slimy potion. Baby, oh my god. A baby slime spawn egg? Uh, get rid of that speed potion. I'm gonna take that baby spawn egg. That's that's cool. Anything else in these? Nope, not really. What about behind this one? Nope. Okay, then what about underneath here? Huh? Huh? You hiding stuff from me? Nope. Okay. That's fair. Then... I think my inventory is just full. So... Okay. Is there anything like important here? A lot of, of that, huh? Hey, get out of here, kid. Eat this pie. I'll eat a carrot here, and now we're gonna be like full saturation, just a beautiful thing. I feel like there should be something else here, right? 
This feels weird that this is just a nature-y thing the bob, right? I hate nature. Kill it, kill it all! God, creepers are so annoying. Well, I don't see anything else, but... Is there like the hide up there? Okay. What's this chest? Oh, we got a bunch of torches. A bunch of arrows. A bunch of bread. Some more diamonds, some iron nuggies, and a blank. Nothing. Okay. Well, in that case, let's destroy these. Here. Also, how was it that I chose the right path to go? Okay, so I guess going to the right is the right path. Let's check the left here before we go any further. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Ty Swinger. Or is it thank you, Swinger? All right, what we got? I see a chest up there. Let's uh, build up there a little bit. What do we got here? A couple of diamonds, mushroom stems, some suspicious stews, and some red mushrooms. Nothing I want. Okay. Ow. On. Someone's grilling up some mushroom here, it looks like. Oh, there's this spider that I've been hearing. Get out of there. Wait, those normal villagers? They're normal villagers, okay. Hold on. Before I go in there and start busting this place up. Ow, what? Oh, puppet fish. Right. Ah, oh, behind the waterfall, huh? Thanks. Although it's not a PNG model, it's uh, it actually moves and stuff. Alright, what else we got? Another pumpkin pie. Perfect. Nice one. Any more chests in this area? We got some emerald back there. Do I have a block of emerald? I do not, so it doesn't matter. Although, I can mine these. And get more emerald. Go. Oh, they're all linked back here. Oof. So, for this... Pop it. Let's go. There we go. Like that. Another chest. Emeralds. Iron. Not bad. Okay. Oh wait. I took away my I took away my arrows. I need one. Uh, what can I get rid of? Let's get rid of a swiftness potion. I don't need all of those. There we go. Okay, now I have the blocks of iron or emerald. I don't really need them too badly, but okay. Already searched that. Is there anything past this wall? Hello? Oh, it's the stairs. Okay. So wait, that means that I can't run away from the there. Let's get rid of these trap doors. And then break into here. Hello, villagers! Birthday boy, weaponsmith. You'll take a player head and a block of emerald for a chest. And we got Bob. Bob, do you do anything? Same thing. Hold on. Let's. Do I have a boat still? Get rid of the boat, get rid of the saddle, get rid of that. Player heads around, right? I just. Get that. Hey, Bob, bring me one. A couple more player heads around here. I have a thing in it. Hmm, it does. A rare puffer fish. I'll take that. Player head. You know what? Let me get rid of these potions of swiftness. I don't need them. Oh, 
others. Down here is a whale, I think. Light that up a little bit. See if I can get a couple player heads. There was at least two other guys there. Another one. There we go. Okay. Head back up and throw the birthday boy and the rest of those guys. Hopefully the pufferfish don't kill him. Before I get up there. Okay. Meow. Flowers, seeds, okay. Hey, right, birthday boy. Grab me. And then, boy, you, uh, Steven. Grab me. Thank you. But Steven, Bob, and the birthday boy. And I think that was everyone here. I could have just got ahead from here. Dang. Okay. These are all just, oh, that's a block of gold. That's a block of diamond and a block of emerald. Okay. And this door leads nowhere. That's... Oh my god, there's two heads in here. Of course. Alright, so let's see what's in these chests. We have diamond, firework, cake, iron, which we'll take. And wool, a pumpkin shield. Ah, uh, that looks cool, but unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Because my shield is enchanted. What about the other chest? We have a Book of Loyalty, another head, name tag, lapis, a couple of books and quills. Anything in them? Nope. Nothing important in here, huh? Okay. So basically the only thing important was, I guess, the, the rare puffer fish thing, as it's called. I wonder, is there... if I trim them again... Do they give me the same stuff or different stuff? I feel like it would be the same, but just try it. Why not? Oh, it is slightly different. Interesting. Well, in that case, it's the birthday boy. Birthday boy. You, uh, nothing else neat in here? Some gold blocks, other cake, more pumpkin pie that I don't actually need. Nope. Alright, well, you guys enjoy your time. I want to continue going up this mountain. Or a mountain, but, you know, whatever. Let's avoid the creeper explosion areas here. What's this? Oh, that's where the slimes were. I've already been in here. But I might as well take the uh, emeralds. Now that I've lowered that, yep. Go ahead and light that up. Quick. Okay. I'm just gonna ignore these. I don't, I don't even care anymore. Are there any more emeralds? Let's go. Avoid the pitfall there, and let's go up the stairs. But first, anything I want to drop off quick. I don't need this iron axe or these trap doors or that or that. Ladder eyes. Good with those. Um, I don't need the map of the Gallery of Illusion, I guess, since I'm already here. Perfect. Alright, up we go. Who wants some? Oh, hello there, Invisible Vindicator. Did something just break? Hold up. Pause. You only need to leave me alone for a minute. Eh. Okay. I bet it was my shield getting broken, I guess. Oh, crap. Running away until I can eat again. Ah, the damn vindicators are so, like, Honoree, especially when they have that much health and they're invisible. Go! 
Thank God for full netherite. Oh boy, okay. See another one that's invisible over there. Let's hit him with a bow. We can. Excellent. Anyone else? Out of this way. Okay. okay. Carved pumpkin. Not there. Alright. You know the carrot. Let's go. Really, y'all? We are spawning up there? They gotta be spawning up there. Crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run, please. That was just like a constant stream of them. Kill the normal ones first here, huh? Okay. Absolutely insane. Let me... First of all, I'll build this. So I can keep them off me for the most part. Never mind. They have so much health. Oh my god, I'm only doing like 10 damage to him each hit, too. Okay. And them spooky pumpkin boys. A raid? At a time like this? What the hell? Uh, it's gonna be bad, I have a feeling. I guess we got too close to them over there. Sucks. Well, I think I have a new plan of attack, or at least this little area. Since they are coming from above the stairs, they're probably directly above me here. What if I build this? Spawner here. I thought there might be, given how many came at me. Yeah, but god dang. Okay, maybe not. God, there's so many of them. One of them dying. One of them dying. Two! Plus four max health when held in offhand? Oh. I don't care. Much out here, huh? This stuff. Okay. We have a another chest. Some gold and stuff in it. Excellent. Particles over there. I don't like that. I think they're all above me. Builder Diary. No intruder today. Oh boy. First day of my gate guard. Feels kind of weird working with dudes with long noses. I had one too. No intruder today. I tried to make friends, but didn't work as expected. I offered them a handshake, and I realized. Couldn't. I mean. Oh. 
I get it. It's because they're villagers and they don't have hands because they're constantly like putting them in their sleeves. Right. Makes sense. Okay. Well. Ah, oh, crap, I was an invoker. No, not the freaking vexes. Have so much health, huh? Oh my gosh, die. Old Napa, please. Okay. Come here, Vex. Want some? Come get some. Okay. Another photo moment dying. Excellent. potions that I have by drinking them. Okay. That was a lot. Um, came from over there. I've already floated that little area. What about this little place here? There's some piss. Well, thanks, I guess. But I'm going to die because of that. Managed to survive. What the hell are those? Oh, invisible spiders! They've just been constantly spawning here, huh? A couple more of them in the corners, it looks like. I can only tell because of the freaking eyes. Okay, so how do I get out of here now? I guess I just have to build out, but first, let's take this opportunity that was so graciously given to us to actually regenerate some health, I guess. Before we go back up. What happened here that, like, all of a sudden caused it to blow up? I'm going to cover this area real quick. Spencer has nothing in it. Something was in this dispenser, and these... I guess things were going to open up and do stuff? I don't know. Weird. That's just a frame. Now, what, what is that crafting thing? Well, this stair is locked off? I'm curious, hold on. Go ahead and take this, make that. I just what does a wool surrounded by sticks do? Anything? Oh, it makes a painting. That's what it does. There you go. I don't know why that is here, but okay. All right, so we can go up there, or we can go this way. But I think I might leave that. Because it is blocked off. Check that out later. For now, get rid of that spawner, because that spawns vexes. That's messed up. Wait, are they all spawning vexes up here? 
Oh no. That's bad. I don't like that at all. Okay, let's break this next. Grab the stupid things and drop them. I don't need that many fences. There's nothing that's going to spawn behind me. Good. Okay. We have another right scrap there. Thing. Is there anything if I shoot him? It opened up that. That's cool. Lodestone and a compass. We got a diamond sword I can freely use there. We got an anvil over here. Oh, wait. Diamond sword, netherite scrap. I guess we need a netherite bar in order to make a netherite sword. Put them on dying, I'll take another one of them. Even though I don't think they work, but fine. We have another way up. I guess I can set my respawn point here. Doesn't hurt anything, right? Still going up, though. This is huge, man. I can hit... Is that a guy? No, it looks, it looks like one. Okay, that area is... Fine. Ah, here we go. I have night vision, sir. This should not be allowed. I think I saw you right there, right? Sucks. I like this. There you are. Oh god. Um, this one. Stop moving around so I can hit you. What's the real one? This guy's got to be the real one, right? Figure out what's the real one. Though. Seems like they're following me around like this, huh? Oh, I hit one. Maybe he's actually just in the middle. how these ones work. If they're constantly moving away from me, I can't hit them. Man, what I want to get for some lava right now. How's it at? I'm just going to ignore it. Zombie. Just die, dude. Oh my god. Why? Is in the middle. Okay. Let's see how it is. Because the arrows are actually coming from it. Okay. Although the arrows seem to be just bouncing off of him. Why can't I hit it? I can't hit it? Is there a reason why I can't hit him? Oh, so now you're just... You're here, huh? can, can you move through walls or something, dude? Okay. 
Dude, I see you right there. I don't understand how I kill these guys. Maybe I can't kill them until I do something upstairs first, I guess. Okay. And these guys are clearly glowing for some reason, right? I think I get it now. I have to kill these in a certain order, it appears. That block of emerald. Is that still an armor stand? Looks like it. Okay. Yeah, to kill those other ones first, now I can hack this one, huh? Pretty good way now, huh? Direct nerd. Oh, okay, so I can do some damage after I kill a couple of them, huh? I, I understand. Kill that one until I kill this one, so let's do this quick. Just die. Just die, thank you. Where's that come from? Are the Vex doing that stupid spell? Oh my god, I can't even fucking hit him. Apex, so much! Who keeps casting a freaking spell at me? I have thorns on my armor, maybe this would be better. What is hitting me like this? The invoker guy who some of them is dead, right? Ah, the lag's not helping at all either. Diamond armor guy, just what I needed. We're just gonna freaking spam click at this point, then, huh? I gotta kill this diamond armor. Like, if I don't, the vexes are gonna get in the way. Here we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Diamond armor, dealt with. Three little shits. Come on, come on. We weren't for. Why are there so many? I don't get it. What the hell's happening?
Stop hitting me so I can kill this guy. Oh my god. I, I literally cannot see what's going on. I got an idea. Hold up. Drop all that. Give me my freaking axe. Someone in here is summoning shit. Oh my god. Hey, I can't fight this many Vex, dude. Die! Oh my god, okay, fine, I'll die. Jesus. There. You happy? God. Oh boy. Illusionist bow. Worthless. We got an illusioner's disc. Play this music in the gallery. I got arrows of blindness. Don't care. Forbidden melon. I will eat that, thankfully. As soon as my, uh, oh, cool. Yeah, because my, because my, because I died, my, my total hearts went down. Great. Still lagging a bunch, though. Jesus. I don't have so many books. Where all these books come from? Oh, I guess I know. Never mind. Because I was, uh, destroying stuff. What does Wire Edge do? <laughs> Doesn't seem to do much, if anything. My bow's better. Where's the freaking illusionist who's summoning these guys? No, don't summon more. Oh, you asshole. You can get rid of all these totem undyings. They don't even work. Come on, come on, you little shits. Let's go. Do what you got. What is this? Oh, it's a Vex spawner. Of course it is. As if I didn't already have too many Vex to deal with. They had spawning more for me, huh? Okay. I take a moment to... Look at stuff here now. There's a jukebox here. Uh, that's something my vision. Uh, no, thank you. Give me that back, please. Doesn't seem I can do anything with it. Dungeon now loading. Minecraft dead. Oh, there's credits. Is that it?
I guess this is like the final boss one. Okay. Oh, Jack and Jack called Lantern. Jack and Lantern. Nice. Okay, enough of that. Get rid of the disc. I don't want to get copyright claimed. Okay. Ink? Where's this at? Oh, there's another... Where does that lead actually? Hold on. Where is this from? Where does this go from? Leads out to here where there's more Vex and stuff. Drop. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's nothing there, but I can go further up. There was also a place here. Also, I don't know why I was not using my axe to do this. Okay. Ow. Hey, you, stop it. It's a bunch of netherite scrap, huh? Kind of just a loot room, I guess, at this point. How much is that? That is 15? Hmm, not bad. Well, that was 17. 17? Really? That's an odd amount. Anyway, go ahead and build back up. Okay. There, I'm gonna just throw a thing I don't want over this edge. Okay. I feel like there's still stuff here. There's definitely stuff higher up. But I'm not sure how to get there legitimately. I see, like, there's a spawner up there. There's whatever that is there. Or another right scrap, Depth Strider, Riptide, and that. Hmm. Traveling Compass. Oh, increases my speed when I'm offhand. I'll take that. Interesting. I wonder how they did all these like extra mod things. Yeah, you go ahead and just get that Vex spawner right out of here. I don't think there's anything else up this way. It doesn't look like it. There's another spawner down there, though. There. Doesn't seem to be spawning anything, so I think we're okay. That much in front. Boop. I have to go outside here. That's the village. Not the village, the, uh, the boss arena there. It was an interesting boss fight. I just didn't quite understand exactly what I had to do. So, that was a thing. Then we have the top. Nice. Okay, well, I uh, guess that's everything. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let me that. If I put this in my offhand, I move faster. 
I guess, but I don't really need it. Okay, so I think I can survive this fall, but do it in smaller increments. Huh? There we go. All right, and let's go home. Okay, so we're not going to kill the warden because that it would just require a bunch of preparation, and I don't feel like a bunch of preparation to kill one. Also, I don't think it drops anything that's interesting or cool anyway, so doing that would just be kind of pointless. So there's all our ancient debris. Go ahead and store away my... First, before we do that, uh, block... We can craft everything we can into blocks, shall we? Emerald blocks. So we just how we save some, you know, storage space. Not that we're gonna you know, we need to use a bunch more storage space anyway, but fine. Okay. Got the iron golem spawning, the baby slime spawning. What happens if I use this down here? Hello, there, little slime. Where did I put those at? Ah, oh, here's one. Yeah. Come here, Samuel. There you go. All right. That away. I don't remember how many I need. Save that. Um, let's grab. Slime balls, is it 4x4 four four to make the... No. Of course, it's a whole stack of them. No. Put the slime balls in there. Uh, so we got rage potions, which increase speed and health. Night vision potions, which I don't really need anymore at this point. Boop. Most of what we got here, a bunch of instant health, some splash potions. Does weakness work on the dragon? I'll take one, just in case. See what happens. Um, I have three apples. I might as well make some golden apples, I guess. Not that it really matters, to be honest, because the dragon is like a weak thing that's so simple to kill. Wait, isn't that how you... I thought it was nuggets. Oh no, of course it's solid gold. Yeah, it is. Okay, fine. Let's get this off my hot bar so I don't use it by accident, huh? Okay. Oops. Here we go. We'll do that. Make those into... Bam again. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Excellent. So we have an Iron Golem spawn egg, which we can use. I'm just going to summon that in the end. Why not? Then let's grab one more name tag for it. And then what should we call this one? Uh, I don't know. Call it Frederick. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So we have some slime box to get down off of the pillars. We destroyed them. We have a splash potion. We have golden carrots. Got plenty of pie, plenty of that, plenty of that. Our weapons are good. In fact, actually, I'm going to. Hmm? Hmm? Can I not? Oh, I don't know why I wouldn't let me do that before. But, uh... Go. Okay. That looks good. I'm gonna get rid of this dang compass. I don't need it. Okay. So, I've got some. Does fire resistance even help us against the dragon? I don't think it does. I don't know why I have that. Alright, but we got some rage potions, which are basically strength potions. We got our blaze powder. Oh, we got a rare puffer fish. I'm gonna. Back there. We've got our golden apples, your golden stuff there. Hmm. Is Dragon Breath a thing here? Ah, Dragon Breath is a thing, ain't it? And you can use it to make 
Lingering Potion? Those do. What? It... What does this do? It, like, slashes the length of it. Yeah? I'm so confused. Is it like more potion? Potent or something? I don't get it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You know anything with dragon eggs? Nope. Dragon heads? Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, so now we just need a bunch of blocks. So. Actually, you know what? Let's use deep slate just for the hell of it. There we go. Alright, so deep slate to build up. Climb blocks so we can jump back down. We got the bows, we got the name tag, and the iron golem. Oops, I, uh... Nope. Okay. Let's rock. Bam. End portal. Alright, so if we look at the map, the actual map map, you can see it wasn't actually too far away from home, so that's nice. I just had to dig a little bit to find it, so... You know, I already blocked off everything else. Oh, you can see a bunch of cobblestone I used. Like, mine through all the things to get here. Anyway, it looks like we need a total of three more. Eyes of Ender. And boop, boop, boom. All right. So, here's the idea. We're going to use our Iron Golem once we get there. We're going to give it a name. And then we're going to kill a dragon. I don't like how it always spawns you like hovering in an area like this. Very inconsiderate of them to do that. You know? Also, I appear to have forgotten to Make a spawn bed nearby, but I don't think we're gonna die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like the shapeless crafting. Okay. Iron Golem! Go forth! Protect! It'll distract the Endermans. Help? Can I shoot through these with the thing there? Nope. Okay. Well, that is okay. For now, let's go ahead and get this here and that here. This powder I don't need right now. All right, I'm going to throw down some slime around each of these towers before we do too much here. That way I can just jump on the slime to uh, push in my fall. No matter which one I get up to. I might not actually have enough. That's okay. I'm just not going to have enough. I feel like I'm halfway around. Okay. I guess then I'm just going to... I'm on up. <laughs> it was really tall, I think. Okay. Eat real quick before I begin. Ow. Okay. That's one. I don't use a bow too often, so I don't really know much about the heights that I gotta aim at. Ow. Here. This should hit, right? Is that over? Just under, I think. This should hit, though. No, but this should hit. How about this, then? Fine. God. Can't get a good, good grasp of it. Get the rest of these out, then. God, I hate this stuff. Hop out. Let's go. Boop. 
So yes, mine all these up. And uh Okay. Ah, well, slime block pattern did not work exactly how I thought it was going to. So that's fine. But you know what I can do? I can just go over here. Can I sneak my way in by doing this? Ah, apparently I can! Excellent. I cannot believe I missed that one. There we go, and then can I hit that one from here? Not barely. Got it. Uh, I think I need that one still, yeah. Oh, I hit! Nice! Let's murder the dragon now. Oh, of course I've missed. God darn it. That's how it goes. Is Frederick still alive? Frederick? I'm trying to hit me with that stuff, huh? Actually, I should be using an axe for this. There go. Because the axe does more damage. No. Chinese plates just chilling here, huh? Frederick, are you okay? I think he's dead. I think he managed to kill some of them, though. More ender pearls. That's good. Oh, yep. There he's dead. No, Frederick. He was so young. Maybe I should have waited until the uh, dragon was down here and then used it on him, huh? Come down here. I don't think the weakness potion worked. I don't think it actually hit him. Let's change these here. Ow, what? What? Why am I on fire? What just hit me? Did I hit myself with a freaking arrow or something? Alright, here we go. Okay. Should be able to kill him next time. Also, totally forgot to use these uh, potions. So that's great. Oop. Come on, land you coward. Now, here he goes. Perfect timing, actually, huh? You dare? What the hell? Fine. You know what? Screw you then. Oh, this not the camera. Damn, bro, just calm down. There we go. All right. Easy peasy. My armor is not like this, though. Hello. Should be able to fully get my stuff repaired at this point. Thanks to all the uh, experience that he's going to drop. Yep, everything's fully repaired now. Nice. Yep. Boop. Nutella 
teleport it over where? Dragon egg, there it is. It's so weird you have to do that to get the dragon egg, but it works. Hello, dragon egg. How are you? Okay, so we finished all that. Good luck. Free the end, and then hold the dragon egg. So all that is completed. Is there anything else that's like important? I mean, we can collect dragon breath, which doesn't really matter too much, right? have a use for it and then we have go to a city in the end um, escape the island respawn the ender dragon none of that really matters too much um, i've never filled a bucket with lava yet um, upgrade a netherite ingot uh, with a hoe eat everything you can lasso a frog get a tadpole in a bucket move a bee's nest with three bees inside Catch a fish without a fishing rod, that doesn't matter. I think we're pretty much done with all the uh, stuff. I mean, sure, we didn't summon a wither, but a wither is just whatever. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is spawn it in like a obsidian box and then kill it, and it's easy. The very potion effect applied at the same time. That's retarded. I'm not doing that. Yada, use a strider with the mushroom. Adventure is just summon a iron golem to help defend the village. Great with the village at the build height limit. That's insane. Kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow. Huh. Sneak near a shulk sensor or the warden to prevent it from detecting you. Discover every biome, which is just going to be impossible. And we've only covered 33, and we've just been searching all over the place for stuff, so that's just not going to happen. Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from the jukebox. Mm. Walk on powdered snow without sinking in. And this is just another mod. And then this mod here, we've pretty much got everything. I mean, we've already discovered the deep oasis. Couldn't find the slime sinkhole, though. Um... Well, it does say it's a hidden structure, so maybe, I don't know. I feel like I'd still be able to see somewhere that it was at. Uh, there's locate one of the graves, which we did in one of the hard cores. Find the freezing campsite watched over by the silver eyes, which we could not find at all. Obtain maximum hearts, whatever. I found some pillager camps, but I never found any bosses, like I said. Um, couldn't find Olympus. Really, the only ones we did not find were Olympus and the Ice Biome and the Lime one. Everything else we found, so I guess there's only like four that we didn't get to. But I mean, technically we found the grave, so that's technically one. Anyway, whoopsh. Although this is just going to spawn me over at uh, this place, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, I'm gonna, technically, this is my house now. I own it. So, get jelly. Anyway. Are those wither flowers? Really? Rude. Home. Home, please, home. All right. Well, I think it's time to just reset my spawn here. Yeah. All right. Well, we've done a lot from here. Yes, indeed. Take a seat. Get rid of this torch. Hello, hello. Yeah, I mean, we, we started out like around this area seem to remember and then we journeyed all over south and then over here and then over here all this place and finally decided to settle here on this nice little what is this is it an ithaca is that what these are called i 
Is that what I'm thinking? The, uh, it's like what Panama is, right? It's not like a peninsula. I don't know. I think it was in Ithaca. Anyway, this little nice little landmass here that had a shipwreck on it. We rebuilt the shipwreck to make it a nice looking ship. We made some farmland and all that stuff, which ended up not being that useful to us, to be honest. Passed trading with some villagers, but once we got a mending book, surprisingly for very cheap, it didn't really matter too much, um, to be completely honest. So yeah, I mean, after the first like time I, I really like edited, uh, or I spent time building. I never really did it again. So it was just, you know, a nice journey here to do all this. And we removed some trees and all that. And then after we, you know, conquered this area, got some good trades going on, we started exploring around up here for more area. And then we started going a little bit further north, took an end portal through here and explored all the way up here, found a bunch of mazes and various different things. But I mean, we never really found a lot of the, uh, you know, we never found Olympus. We never found the snowy camp, which I still don't see anything that looks like it could be a camp here, right? Um, yeah. We explored a bunch of jungle, a bunch of darkwood forest, a bunch of swamp, and we ended up not finding much, to be completely honest all these swamps. Remember when we went through the swamp and didn't find, like, Jack? Ugh. Good times. But, yeah. And then we uh, killed the Ender Dragon and everything like that. We encountered the Warden, which I've not done before, and promptly got her ass handed to us, as one does, because I was not prepared for it to literally destroy my health that much. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure I could kill the warden if I had some time to prepare. Maybe bring some like lava buckets to have him get, you know, stuck in lava, or uh, you know, build a better area to fight him in. You know, kill him a little bit, then hide and you know, sneak around, kind of do that kind of stuff. Use some more potions, all that good jazz, you know. But I don't really feel like spending the time to do that. So I think what we'll do. Because we'll just wrap things up here, you know? And call this series of Minecraft completed. Yeah. Let's move on to other things. So whether it's going to be a different mod pack of Minecraft, or whether to do something else, or another game, or anything like that, I don't know yet. I'll figure out what we're doing next time, and we'll just kind of do it. But, yeah. Good times. Anyway. Thank you all for watching, hanging out, and stuff like that. If you missed any of the Minecraft series here, it's uploaded to YouTube. You can find the YouTube link on my Twitch description and stuff like that. If you're watching this on YouTube and want to follow me on Twitch, go ahead and follow the link in the description of the YouTube videos, and you'll find me there. So, yeah, but that's it for now, everyone. So, I guess we'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.